So nowadays, uh, people are looking in, in paddy and uh, wheat, uh, what are all the genotypes or germplasm, which will have early morning uh, flowering. So by nature, these crops are having that early morning or midnight uh, from starting from 12.30, they are going to uh, open the flowers. So there is a higher uh, possibility of these millets to yield even in the higher temperature. So we can go on, add the beneficial effect ecologically what they are having. Next one, please. Oh. Next, uh, next slide. So these are all the uh, millets. Actually, all the seven millets are growing throughout the country. And uh, the best advantage of our Tamil Nadu, all the eight millets, including the brown top millet and grain amara, we have all C. That is, uh, we do cultivate, we do consume, and as well as we do commerce. So this is the beauty of our Tamil Nadu. So we are having all the eight uh, small millets. Apart from the kambu and cholam, or the pearl millet and the sorghum, we are having all the eight millets, and we are consuming it. Next one, please. And the, these are all about the area and production and productivity. On recent years, in the last four or five years, productivity has increased a lot, where the breeder's contribution is more. So we are having. Uh, so many high yielding varieties with higher productivity in the with uh, abiotic and biotic stress tolerance. Next one, please. Next, please. And uh, these are all the varieties I am telling about. So if you take the finger millet, we are having at the end is the place at Trivenamale where our station is the shortly in English it is ATL1 at the end one. So we do have uh, new varieties in finger millet, uh, little millet, foxtail millet, kodo millet, we are having three varieties, ATL1, ATL2, ATL3, and in banyard millet, ko, that is uh, from Coimbatore, we are having an, one variety, ko2, and as well as Madurai, MDU1, we are having a variety, and in the proso millet, we are having five varieties, latest varieties, and uh, uh, so all these varieties have been released uh, at national level also we are having six varieties and they have been notified. So anywhere in India we can grow these materials and we are supplying seeds every year. More than 8 to 10 tons of seeds are being supplied to uh, so many states in the country. So there is no um, problem in the availability of seeds, quality seeds. because. Uh, seed is the basic material for having the higher production or promotion or value addition. This is the basic input. There is no um, a problem in the um, technology or in the availability of um, quality seeds. So these are all the characters of this material, which may not be that much. So you can see the yield potential. All are having more than 20 to 25 quintals of uh, uh, grain yield at uh, per hectare. So we are having very good high yielding varieties. So they do have the uh, input responsiveness. Even if you are providing some fertilizer, normally uh, the tribal people are not giving any fertilizer. But even if you are willing to apply fertilizer, they are highly responsive to the fertilizers. And they are abiotic uh, uh, stress tolerance. Uh, it is both for uh, heat as well as for cold. Because uh, where the small millets are grown uh, is in the tribal area. 80% of the small millets are grown throughout the country in the tribal area, where cold is also a problem. So they are heat tolerant as well as the cold tolerant. And normally there are no pestilent disease in the small millets. However, if they are grown in uh, off seasons, there is a possibility of getting some pestilent diseases. But uh, the reason varieties are um, checked very well for the pestilent disease resistant. Apart from that, uh, from yesterday also we are talking about biofortified varieties. Nowadays we are checking it for uh, grain qualities, not only for grain, but for the fodder also. Because these are all the millets where people are growing these uh, crops for fodder also. So not only checking the grain, but for uh, fodder also we are checking the qualities. And we are talking about finger millet for that uh, color of the grain, which may be uh, difficult for some of the people to have that uh, color. So they are not used to that color, but the regular users need that color. So we are having varieties, co-9, so which are white in color itself. 
so you need not uh, decaticate but you can directly use those material and uh, it is on par with all the nutrition except the uh, phytochemicals next one so these are all the again different varieties what we have released and all the seeds are available and uh, people from any state can in and at least six months before and you can get the seeds next one so this is uh, co-14 um, this is 100 days duration another thing is the duration so so far we are talking about uh, small millets so we are having different uh, characteristics of the uh, varieties which will be growing in uh, saline soils we are having trichy one and which will be tolerant to the saline or alkaline conditions also and short duration medium duration long duration based on the geographic regions so this is co-14 100 days duration next one and this is co-15 120 to 25 days uh, duration mainly for uh, Krishnagiri and Dharmaburi district where there are um, southwest monsoon as well as the north northeast monsoon if those people grow in for a short duration material it will be caught in the uh, a monsoon uh, that is northeastern monsoon so we are having the medium duration material and the atl one at the end of the, you can see the crop uh, so it is so nicely grown and it is 95 to 100 days duration next one and this is the co4 which is mainly suitable for uh, plains where there is a higher temperature what you are seeing both the things are little millet crop but you can see the variance in the varieties co4 it is for plains and the atl one, it is mainly for the Eastern Ghats. Eastern Ghats uh, starting from um, uh, Orissa and Bihar up to tip of Tamil Nadu, we are having the Eastern Ghats. So, so many times we will be knowing only Western Ghats, but uh, similarly we do have so much of biodiversity in the Eastern Ghats. So you can see the varietal difference. Both are same crop, but one is for the plains uh, where we can expect more of uh, heat shock, but the another one is mainly for the um, uh, mild weather condition with a very big panicle and all next one and these are all the codo millet so you can see different varieties the first one tnau 86 what you are seeing that ear head will be having a um, straight panicle with uh, neatly arranged grains but uh, what is the meaning in this uh, neatly arranged or irregular arranged so that is we call it as regularis and irregularis but that is a beauty in that one so this type of things will be uh, having um, very uh, medium to small size seeds but yield will be high but another one ATL one it will be having a uh, irregular arrangement of the grains normally it is correlated with a higher yield and a dwarf so they will they will not lodge also so they are dwarf in condition so you what you are seeing is the codo millet different varieties next one please and this is the proso millet uh, the beauty of or significance of the proso millet it will mature 65 to 70 days you can't imagine a crop other than the pulse which will mature within 65 to 70 days so this is highly helpful for a contingent planning you might be expecting a monsoon and you have planned for some sowing uh, some of the crop some cash crop sometimes we will be uh, we will not be getting the rain at that time you can go in for a contingent plan which will give uh, some grain and as well as the fodder so that is the beauty of this proso millet but it has a higher market price in the western countries mainly for the bird feed so proso millet is a very minor crop in india but that is the costliest crop in the foreign and with very much short duration so if you calculate the per day productivity it is a very good crop and we can plan for that one next one please next one okay and what you are seeing is the foxtail millet here again you can see both are same crop uh, first one is the coast seven it is having a purple tinge purple tinge will be having more of uh, um, pest and disease resistance as well as the it has the capacity to uh, abiotic tolerance also another one is atl1 which is a green color thing and uh, there is uh, architecture of the plant is also different that is uh, ideal crop uh, coast seven is will be having more of uh, tillers so which will have the plasticity towards the drought tolerance another one is mainly for the high input or in the uh, hill, hilly region it is highly suitable because they will be having two or three tillers but with large size of the panicle next one 
So this is the banyard millet. What you're seeing is the banyard millet. And uh, banyard millet is a signif signified for the heat tolerance as well as the salinity tolerance. If any tract of a state is having more of salinity or alkalinity, this is the best crop to select for. Next one. So these are all the characteristics. So far what I have shown you are the uh, different varieties and uh, this is the specific uh, material. It has been released and notified during 2021. So it is uh, highly suitable for all our government programs with a subsidy. Next one. And these are all the characteristics. Dust character. You can see the whole plan and number of tillers and the panicle size and all. This is mainly to differentiate between one variety to another. Next one. And this are all the, you can see the seed size also. Next. And this is the Kodo millet. You can see the regular arrangement of grain in the panicle. Next. And these are all the dust characteristics for that crop. Next one. Uh, next. And this is the CKMV1, that is a coordinated Kodo millet variety. It is a centrally notified variety. So it can be used in the uh, most of the states in uh, India. Next one. So this is what I have told you. The panicle you can notice. Here the irregular arrangement of grains you can see. Next. And I have shown the rice also. It is uh, with uh, immediately after uh, dehusking you can see. And we are releasing variety with uh, 54 to 55% of recovery. So most of the time we are telling it is purchased from the farmers for 20 to 30 rupees. But the rice is sold for more than 100 rupees. But uh, you have to use uh, at least 2 kg of grain to get 1 kg of rice. That also we have to keep in mind. So next, these are all the dust characteristics to differentiate between different varieties. Next one, uh, this is the uh, little millet. You can see the panicle size, how it is. So it has the um, little millet, foxtail millet.